Hi everyone, welcome to our next video from Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. Um, another lovely um, mushroom to do today. I quite fancy doing this one in a pink colour. So that is how I am going to start. I'm going to grab this one. This is called Coral Deep, which is um, a really pretty pale pink. And I'm going to do a little bit of this and then just see where it takes me really. So I'm going to use it on these larger areas here and then um, have a think about all the other bits. I'm wondering as I colour this and I have been thinking this whether these are based on real mushrooms or whether they're just imaginary because um, if they're real ones I'm colouring them completely wrongly I'm sure but if they're imaginary it doesn't matter does it but um, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter either way really. So I'm having to sort of try and flatten the page out a little bit. It's very near to the spine and near to the back of the book. So I'm just doing some plain colouring here to start with and then I'm going to um, think about adding a few other colours in to this part to give it a little, little bit of shape and interest and then we'll worry about all the little details afterwards. So it's just a matter of getting a nice layer down to start with like this. And then, um, I'm not sure what colours I'm going to add. I shall have a little look in the box, in the tin, in a minute. If I'm just trying to look now, and then colouring out the lines. <laughs> mm, probably better not to look away from the page and then colour. <laughs> okay, and let's have a think. Actually, I think I'm going to have a look at the swatch chart. So this is the Coral Deep that I've been using. I think it's probably the Grenadine that it's quite close to. Um, so that's what I'm going to grab to do a little bit of the shading. Here it is. I just give it a sharp and it's quite reddish, but I think it's the same sort of tone or colour family. So here it is, Grenadine. And I'm going to do my darkest part at the bottom. I feel that it's more sort of makes more sense for it to be darker nearer the lower part of the of the uh, mushroom and lighter towards the top. It's quite subtle because I want to use this colour again and so I don't want to use it really hard and lots of layers because I'll do that in a minute um, on the these detaily bits. what we can do is darken this up a little bit with the pink. That's a little bit pale. There we go. So grab the coral deep again and darken up. So everyone's well today. Um, we're sort of well into the springtime now, which I think helps a lot of people to feel happier, which is nice. Um, I think a lot of people need to see sunshine and flowers, um, which um, we are getting a bit more of now. Um, we have had a lot of rain and uh, I walked past the river today and it looked quite deep. But uh, not, not as deep as it has been, but uh, you know, just a bit more than than sometimes. Um, I'm going back to my grenadine and I'm going to use it on these lines. And what I'm going to do is just overlayer it a bit so that it looks a bit darker. So it stands out. Okay. But I was enjoying my walk by the canal and river. The path goes between the river and the canal. They run parallel to each other, although at one point the river goes under the canal, which is quite fun. Um, but um, what I was looking at was the um, all the lovely spring, um, signs of spring, I suppose. The trees, a lot of them had buds. Um, these weren't flower buds, these were leaf buds, but really pretty, and the tiny tufts of leaf that sprout um, are such a pretty colour as sort of spring greens there's just nothing like it and it really doesn't last very long so it's um, well worth trying to get out there and have a look at them if you can if it, obviously um, depends where you are 
and if you're even near anywhere that's green. Um, I feel really um, privileged to live in a town where there's lots of green. So my route to town, I live in the suburbs, essentially, I guess, 15 minutes walk from town. The town centre isn't that big. And uh, we have such a beautiful walk. Now, on the underside of the mushroom, I've been tending to do these browns and greys. I'm thinking maybe I could go with a dark shade of pink or something. Um, what's that colour? Hmm, I'm wondering about the magenta. I'm going to try it and if it looks abysmal, I'll add something to it to make it better. <laughs> abysmal, that's a good word, isn't it? So magenta, I have a feeling I will have to tone it down with something. So I'm just going to add a light layer and then see how we go really. So I also, there was quite a bit of blossoms and uh, catkins and things like that so it's really lovely and uh, there was a, there wasn't much wildlife it's still not warm enough to see butterflies or dragonflies or damselflies or anything like that you know but uh, um, it was still uh, rather pleasant now there's a brown in this set the permanent brown which is I feel is slightly purpley in its pigments so I think that might help us with this part to make it look a bit more mushroomy but it still sort of works so that's what I'm going to do so permanent brown now I'm going to be a little more aware here of where I want it to be darker and lighter so under here near the top area this is where I want it to be darker and then I'm going to do less as I go down, lower down here. So I'm going to go back over that top bit again, like that, and the same over here. So we get a nice dark, shadowy bit, which is how I always think it would look. And then a bit less going down towards the bottom. There we go. And I want something a little oops, a little bit lighter at the bottom just to blend that in. I think I might go for a bit of a grey, maybe quite a light one. Um, I want something hmm. Let's have a quick look. I think the dove grey is going to suit. Uh, it's quite pale, but I think it will just work. Because I want something paler down here, I want it sort of blended up with something. I could use a blending pencil, but I think this will work. And then I can use this on the stem as well. And it'll all tie together. As although you can't really see that there's grey in there, it, the tone will blend in. It'll, sort of, it'll help the eye, I think, anyway. So I'm just going to put that all the way down. And then grab a slightly darker colour to do the edges. And I think I might use this permanent brown, but really carefully. So I want some shadow at the top here. And then on the edges bottom like that. but I want that bit on the edge brought in a little so it can sort of blend same on this side it's a bit down the edge all the way to the edge I left a gap there it wasn't intentional like that and then I'm going to go back with the grey the dove grey and just try and blend it up together and bring that colour in and leave a sort of bit of a lighter bit in the centre but not too white and hopefully it looks a little bit more rounded there we go that's quite an unusual colour isn't it does it look like a lampshade maybe maybe it does <laughs> I think it's rather cute 
um, even if it does look like a lampshade. <laughs> but there's my pink mushroom, or maybe coral. I think I called it coral. So uh, that was fun. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you have a super day and happy colouring.